Okay, the purpose of this video is to show how to test the material to make sure that you have enough water in it and uh, that you don't have too much water as well. What we have is a piece of PVC that's two inches in diameter and four inches long and we've dipped some material out of the mixing bucket after we had it mixed to the consistency using the water that the manufacturer specifies. We fill the slump tester up and lift it up like you're going to drink it and it spills out the bottom and leaves a circle on the floor. Then you measure the circle and it should be around nine inches if you've got the right amount of water. Anywhere between eight and a half to nine inches is what you're looking for. Uh, well, actually, eight and a half to nine and a half is a good is a good slump for most floors. Uh, if you don't have enough water, if you come up with an eight inch slump, you need to add a pint of water at a time until you get up to the desired slump. And if you have a circle that's over nine and a half inches, you need to add some powder. And so for your next batch of material, you can adjust the water you put in to start with and so that you come out with the right slump every time. Uh, too much water definitely is bad for the floor. It makes for a weak product. Too little water makes it very difficult to finish. As you can see, this material is, is really good and flowing well, so it's got enough water in it. It heals itself when you stick your finger in it, so it's pretty flowing, uh, flowable material.